that they are going to be performing at the Cooperage tonight at 7.30, and that was the tune All Right Tonight. And the album is Yearbook, and we have them in our studio. Can you talk into the mic so you can get some levels yes, going here? Yes, this is Ryan. This is Cameron. Happy afternoon, Albuquerque. There we go. We've we'll got it all together. Are, are we in there? Yeah, we're in there. Well, it's great nice. to have you down here. Thank you. We love this city. We're glad to be back. Have you yeah. have you played here often? Uh, it's been a while. it's been a couple of years since we've been here, but uh, we have played here a number of times, and I love it. Yeah, yeah. We played at Pope Joy Hall once with Jason Mraz. We played at Fiestas on the UNM right. campus a couple of times. Launch pads and coffee shops and churches, and then that Outpost. Folk Fest Outpost. Folk yeah, it was yeah. a great show. So we, we we have a huge affinity for Albuquerque. Oh, very good. And you, well, of course, you live in Tucson, so it's a similar sort of climate. In a That's sense. exactly right. Yeah. In many ways, it, yeah. it feels. I've only been to Tucson once, but uh, they have two growing seasons. That's all I remember. <laughs> it, it, was, it feels like home here. It feels yeah. like Tucson. Yeah, good of a sister city, we always say. Right. And you write most of your, or almost all, but occasionally you'll you'll throw in a few. Yeah, live, you know, so we, we do write all our own songs and, and we typically uh, collaborate and co-write with each other and um, at a show we will throw in the occasional, uh, you know, Beatles tune or, or little surprises uh, here and there, a Simon and Garfunkel moment, things like that. But, but I was, when I grew up my dad was in a, a cover band when I was really little and when he sort of finished that and I was just sort of starting out. He said, always write your own songs because if you start playing mostly covers, you'll get trapped always playing mostly covers. And people come to the show requesting, you know, in his day it was they're coming requesting Moody Blues or Pink Floyd. And for us, they would be, you know, play Dave Matthews, play Jason Mraz. Uh, and he said, just don't get in that, you know, on that track. Don't right. get in that circle at all. Just write and play your own music from the beginning. So Ryan right. and I have just both decided to do that and stuck with it. And you, you started out in, in separate bands, right, in high school? And we did. We were a great apart in high school, and I knew Cameron because he was in the other band that was standing between me and the Battle of the Bands victory. And, <laughs> and so we, uh, we, we sort of just nodded to each other in the hallways, but we didn't really grow close until, um, until those battle, annual battles had ended and we graduated and, uh, and actually acknowledged that we had a deep respect for one another. Right, so there was a rivalry, but then a lot of mutual respect. There was, the, you know, the whole time. It's just, you can't, in high, high school, you don't know who you are, and you don't know how to, <laughs> how to deal with that sort of thing, so we, we didn't talk. <laughs> All right, well, how about playing? All right, we'll do it. We did. This is a song called Welcome You Into My Head, yeah. also from your book. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
studio this afternoon on Freeform, and I'm Harry Norton with you, with Ryan Hood, and Ryan Hood is Ryan Green and Cameron Hood, from Tucson, from Tucson Arizona. Arizona, although you're originally from Boston, right? We're actually originally from Tucson, so Tucson. we did the, the whole high school rivalry thing in Tucson, but what happened is that right after we graduated, Ryan uh, went to Berkeley School of Music in Boston, um, and went, went there for a couple of years. We each had separate bands still, but uh, when he had a college degree from Berkeley and I had a college degree from University of Arizona, he said, I have an idea. Our bands are both done. Why don't you move out here to Boston? And with our college degrees, we can be street performers and busk and play in the subways and make our parents very proud for the money that they spent on our educations. And so we, so we moved, I moved out to Boston and, and lived with him for a while and he really started managing our band at that point. He just always had kind of a, a crazy idea about how we could be a band and be a part of the music business in a way that was kind of offbeat and we've kind yeah. of always done that and so, so that really, all started in Boston so the band proper started in Boston in Boston yeah. mm -hmm. and you played at the, at the market there right Quincy yeah market. Quincy market Quincy was market. the sort of the, the key location for first buskers and you're you're not just musicians but there's you know acrobats and, and people all kinds of wild. illusionists yeah. and clowns some of which are way more terrifying than fun <laughs> and there's like eight-year-olds playing keyboard and they're you know as good as anyone you've ever seen and there's people juggling terrifying implements and so to kind of compete with that we had to figure out just really quickly how to um, how to create a show how to uh, be exuberant on stage and draw a crowd out of nothing and how to interact with that crowd and I think that's something that we've always it's it's still important to us now right. that really started I think then so who who do you look to for your for your inspiration? I saw a couple of names: Bela Fleck and Chris Thyle would be. Yeah, on that list. yeah, certainly for me the instrumentalists like the acoustic instrumentalists. And strangely, I often, am, even though I'm a guitarist, I'm often drawn to people who play other acoustic instruments. I think because you'll hear just a different sort of vocabulary and uh, you know phrases and, and, and riffs that I haven't heard before on right. guitar, and so it's kind of fun to borrow from those worlds. And, uh, you know, as for songwriters, we both probably, the, you know, the Beatles, uh, obviously a huge influence on everybody, and that's a big one for, for Cameron and I, and we spend a lot of time listening through Beatles records uh, while, we're, while we're touring. Together we bonded over a 90s band called Collective Soul. That's true. Uh, we loved all of their hard rockin' riffs. We used to go, we would both be at the Collective Soul concert when they were in Tucson. Yeah. I think for me, uh, it's songwriting heroes. It's uh, Lindsey Buckingham and what he did with Fleetwood Mac, Mark Knopfler. Uh, so I particularly love Gilmore in David Pink Floyd, you know? I mean, the, the issue with, with Lindsey Buckingham and David Gilmore is they can both play beautifully, both sing beautifully, and both write beautifully. That's an incredible yes. feat. So those are definitely some heroes of mine. And uh, I will always have an unashamed, unapologetic love for you 2 and Bono. I just, you can't make me not. I just love them so hard. And uh, I love that energy on stage. I love the idea that we're, as a crowd, all going to go somewhere together during this show, yeah. you know? Ugh, it just it's, it makes me want to get up in the morning. How about another tune? Yeah, let's do it. We'll do a song called, I Didn't Put Anything Into Your Place. Bring that is this. This 
said my father not the hole in the wall Now it's December, there's wind on my face But I didn't put anything into your place Didn't put anything into your place is on me, I put you out on the street On Valentine's Day, I was a miserable case But I didn't put anything into your place Didn't put anything into your place songs that you could amp it up and it could be a rock and roll song. I mean really you know electric song yep too. yep yeah. we, we grow that one a little bit extra when we play it live on stage usually right. with the crowd and do you ever play with with anybody you know live additional yeah. musicians additional yes. sure sure yeah. 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 yeah when we did the outpost show here we had uh, a pianist with us um, so as a, as a third member doing that tour with us. And it, it just depends. We will use, uh, on stage tonight, we use something called a porch board. We each have one of those, and they're essentially create a kick drum for each of us. Oh, we'll each, okay. uh, without having to bring an entire kick drum in the car with you, these little uh, devices made in Wisconsin. So we'll, we'll add those, and we'll it's also... It's rhythmic, right? It's a rhythmic. Yeah, it sounds rhythmic, like a yeah. kick drum. And then a little foot tambourine yeah. on the other foot, so we can cover quite a bit of percussion yeah. between so we'll the get, two of us. Yeah, so we'll get nice and loud, and, and sometimes we'll have the pianist with us, but lately we've been doing a lot of just duo touring and making yeah. a lot of noise as a duo, and uh, in Tucson, hometown shows, sometimes we'll, we'll uh, you know, load up the stage with, with our community of musicians there that we know, and uh, so that'll, that'll work well. Your mic. Yes, got it. <laughs> All right, like a, um, a jockey we're with Brian now. Hood in the studio here at KUNM, and they're performing live for us. And now that I've got my mic turned up, you can hear me as well. And um, how about one more tune? Let's yeah. do it. All right, so we'll, we'll finish uh, with a, a jam, a mandolin guitar jam called Second City. This is about the Great Chicago Fire of 1871.
energy there. Thank you for coming down here. You're welcome. Thanks we've, for having us. We've been talking with Ryan Hood and they've been performing for us and they're going to be performing at the Cooperage tonight starting at 7.30 and that's over at uh, just east of Louisiana on the Lomas Boulevard. Thank you. Alright, you're welcome. What See you there. Pleasure being with you. Yeah. Yeah. Great.